Hello and welcome to NCTV 45 and high school football. And um, we're going to be getting underway. Let's check it out. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence, NCTV 45. We're going to uh, cut short a lot of our pregame, and the reason being, and let me uh, give you some idea of what you're looking at. Over there, right above the school, if you could see, and I'll focus in for you. There is the steel building. Okay, just sticking its head up uh, through the clouds as you go through. We are east of the city, and uh, we're getting ready for our, the pregame of the game now. Here's, here's what's going on, and here's what we've been told. First of all, it's a beautiful press box world. We are inside, up high. We were last year in our last broadcast. Now, as uh, um, the computer is dressed, the back of and I'm going to uh, let that go until I can give you some back. Now, and uh, as I was saying, we came down here in bright sunshine, and. UPMC Tower. And give you some idea. There it is. And where we could see it before, we've got a bunch of cloudiness. Weather definitely changing. The county airport says that we should be getting rain. Now they've upped it to 8:30. Now NC245 Orange County weather said the rain wasn't supposed to be in the Newcastle Orange County area until 10 o'clock. And I also had confirmed that with one of the local Pittsburgh stations that said that on the morning news this morning. Usually, that's how it is. However, things have uh, changed and uh, the game will be starting at 7. So, feel free to text me at 724 498-5507. That's everybody across the way. That way I can uh, pick up any comments, anything that's going on. That you might have a question on. And uh, we're going to uh, try to pick up the band here. Um, and the national we look forward to having them next year too. Thank <laughs> you. 
да. Two to the near side, two to the far side motion, and uh, they tried to run jet sweep and not do it. And we apologize. Some of our viewers may have lost contact because of weather and uh, as we uh, search nothing doing one to each side back to pass and forced out of the pocket and then tackled at the 17th It'll bring up four and call it eight. And Kane's will go into confirmation. Seven up and Kane's with 340 on a moving clock. And uh, we'll go to putting out some some uh, tweets and tweets. Now you'll probably hear this double, so with three minutes and 22 seconds on the clock, the Newcastle Red Hurricane have a 7 nothing lead. They have just punted to West Mifflin. Blue Cox on the stop. We are in the first quarter of play. There's three minutes left. Wes Mifflin has the ball. On the 28-yard line. Second and three. The run picks up a few yards for the first down. Second and five and picks up the first down. And uh, we're going to give this to you uh, both ways. 
as uh, we lost uh, our uh, feed down here, but uh, glad to see you. Make sure everybody knows it's we're running with the Facebook. It's first and ten. The ball is on the 15-yard line. Westminster in second back through and stopped at the line of scrimmage. And uh, I will make sure that uh, we keep you and, and get some kind of camera coverage out there. It's raining in Center Township. Thanks, Sam. It's it's gotten pretty cloudy down here. High formation, two to the far side. Flags fly. And. Uh, It's a legal procedure against the Titans. There's 17 seconds on the clock. And uh, with that, we're going to go to the second quarter with the Hurricane with the leads. Seven. Zero. Now, folks, bear with me as uh, I kind of multitask here. Uh, there was no way for us to know about the weather. And uh, Gourmet Gabriel, MSPT, invites you to Washington Center Physical Therapy, professional physical therapist services. Since 1987, call 784-654-2444. Proud sponsors of this program. Here's hoping you don't mind as I jiggle this around. Very concerned about the weather, right? Of course. The weather started early. If you don't drive the YouTube, you must understand the importance of the decision you have made. And what's the point coming up for the world? I recommend what a privilege it is to meet you. Let's move to the line and in high formation. Second down, second down. And, uh, Drop back to pass. Quarterback and... keeps it and gets a modest pickup. Conversation is there's a flag down on the field. Personal foul on the Kings. And uh, as I uh, as I uh, try to adjust everything, and I apologize for that due to circumstances beyond our control. Be with you in one second here. 
It's first and goal. For West Mifflin. And uh, ball rests on the nine yard line. Trap to the left side and nothing doing. I apologize a million times. And there you go. As we'll just work from right here. West Midland second goal. I formation, one to the far side. Second back through, gets inside the five yard line. Second effort gets him down to the two. And uh, Third and tallest two and a half as the ball rests on the two yard line. Second back through and stop. Um, and folks, uh, when you see that jumble like that, I'm working with two cameras at the same time. It's fourth and a half a yard as uh, the ball inside the one. And, uh, And they stop them on the goal line and uh, they'll take over. And it's first and ten for the Kings. And uh, wow, we'll take that one. And we're gonna not to make you dizzy. And uh, say you're in the shadow of your old own goalpost here is an understatement as the Kings are really backed up. Intercepted. And uh, Kings tried to throw. First and ten Titans. And uh, there. Titans come up to the line. And they've got one to each side. Motion goes away. And uh, back to pass. And it's caught for 10 yard pick. Nine minutes on the clock. Seven point lead for the Canes. Uh, Chris, I understand 
we've had some technical issues down here and we've had to go really different. Motion to the near side, high formation, they run the sweep. And uh, out of bounds, say at the 32. Check that. They're going to mark it at the 30. the camera being a little bit nuts is because we're doing two of them at the same time. Motion across, high formation, passes complete, incomplete drop, and then intercepted. Just intercepted by the Cates. And uh, once again, the Kings will have a first and ten, which didn't turn out to be a bad deal. As, uh, there we go. I found a place to rest in. <laughs> Folks. Seven forty six on the clock. Kings first and ten. Inside hand on ball drop West Adams ball. They recover and um, it's first and ten for the Titans. I apologize once again for as we are shooting a double camera angle. I've never done this <laughs> with this. This has been a rather intriguing evening. First attempt for the Titans. The ball rests on the 35. There's seven minutes left. 7.39 to be exact. And the Titans break the huddle. They send one to the near side. Okay. Two to the Two to the near side, one to the far side, ball heaved downfield and out of bounds. Was it any way to uh, to even do that? And uh, the ball be backed up as there was a penalty flag. Making it second, call it 20. As uh, folks were doing two cameras. I, I've lost the ability to talk to my people back in the home office. They don't even know the game's on Facebook. Anyways, I formation, one to each side. Straight ahead goes the runner, and he picks up five. And... Uh, Nothing doing as it's third down. Seven minutes left in the first half. Two to the far side, two to the north side, and a timeout call. By West Buford. Now we'll keep it right there and uh, 
on our second shot. We'll go to our sponsors. Peglis. Hasta more. When you're hungry for that great Italian taste, bellissimo, it is tremendous. You have to stop by Peglis for sandwiches, pizza. Yes, it's Peglis Pasta and more. For that great Italian taste. But it's not just for Sunday anymore. Head over to Peglis. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kidney, and so much more for their huge menu. When you're looking for something different from your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. And we're back. Two to the far side, one to the near side. Ball gets run. It's on the carpet, and that's the Kings ball. So West Bifflin and bounce back in. And uh, hello, Patty. Please send a note out. Anybody that's friends with Nadine on Facebook, Buckley, let them know that it's on Facebook. Hello, Dominic. Good to have you along. Fourth and call it eight. And West Mifflin comes out. I formation to the far side. Ball thrown, caught. And it's right at the first down marker. And that's going to be complete. Four first down, 551 on the clock and moving. And halftime on the week broadcast. Uh, we'll uh, catch the bands. Hello, Mary Ann and Ed. Two to the far side, one near side. And he rolls far side. Ball caught and picks up the first down. For those of you just joining us and wondering what the heck is going on, inclement weather in the area and uh, it's caused a bit of a headache down here as uh, we lost part of our internet feed. Now we are going uh, and broadcasting on Facebook. And uh, one to the near side, motion comes to the near side. Second back through, trap on the right side. Canes have that diagnosed to a T. 512 on the clock. So what happened is we lost our Facebook feed. I doubled up with our cell phone and uh, we, we weren't on YouTube, but we are broadcasting on Facebook. Please share it with all of our friends who watch NCTV 45. I thank you for that. As uh, I'm working just about all the machines I could work. <laughs> out, come, out comes the, the Titans, motion away, I formation, fake to the second back through, ball is incomplete. And that's going to bring up fourth down and three for West Mifflin. And uh, this will be interesting. Thank you, Patty, for the kind words. 
This is your Red Hurricane. On defense, white shirts, black trousers, fourth and three, motion away, second back through, second effort gets close to the first down. He's gonna, he's gonna have it. He's going to have the first down as he crossed the 15, just got across the 15. He got hit at the 16 yard line and was able to spin away and cross. Now there's going to be... They, they marked it short. They marked it short. I believe he had to get to the 15 yard line and uh, and it and looked as I talked here to people down the way, they thought he made it also. Canes take over, first and 10, ball on the 15. 4-12 and the Canes with a seven zip lead. Second back through goes straight ahead and picks up five. Second and five. All the tricks of the trade coming out right now as uh, Ed, you're going to have to call me because i got to tell you what I did. <laughs> we have two back set and quarterback keeps gets up to the 26. That's going to be a first down. And um, 323. Canes with a 7-0 lead. We are three minutes away from halftime. And no rain yet, but it's all around us as that's what we're hearing. Thanks for watching, Joe. Two backs in the backfield. Quarterback pitches. And uh, pitches on the option, crosses the 50. And uh, as they cross the 50, boom, first down. Ball marked on the 48, 248, and a moving clock. Glad to have you along, Tracy. You're watching Red Hurricane Football on NCTV 45. Two back set. Second back through, gets to the line of scrimmage. Nothing much doing there. It is second and ten. Two minutes in the first half. And uh, we've got two to the near side, one far side, back to pass. Ball goes over the middle, incomplete. There is a flag, and, and I'm looking as to where the flag is positioned. And uh, they might. It's the illegal procedure on the case. You know, they got tangled up just a tad downfield, and I wasn't sure what they were going to do as far as making that call, not making that call. Joe, good to have you along. And Joe Felina also welcome. And uh, here come the Canes as they break the huddle. 
Now we've got one to the near side, two to the far side, the motion comes across. And flag on the play, even though the ball, that's going to come back because they call it motion. I, I, I just know it. We're, that's where we're going. And uh, illegal shit <laughs> on the games. That's going to back him up. Five more yards, making it. Well, it's 20 yards to go. And the ball rests on the 42, so they're going to call it second down. And uh, we fake the inside handoff, throw across the field, and the ball is caught at the 40 yard line. It'll make a with a call it two yards. One minute left in the first half and second and two. 55 seconds as clock continues to run. Hope you can hear me at home as well as on our tape delay. Two on each side, and ball kept up inside the third. Now the clock will stop as they move the chains. Time out, Newcastle. So folks, 7-0 Kings, and we're going to keep it right here, and uh, take this, take this break on the table. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. If you want to score big, then get over to Shenango Auto Mall. Sure. Back and street, street basketball, and that gets them inside the fifteen. Timeout called by the Kings. Thirty-one seconds on the clock. <coughs> Interesting evening of high school football, and uh, we've got a penalty assessed against Newcastle. Clock running, 30. Two to the far side, two to the near side. Roll the left side. Passes in. 18 seconds on the clock. Good to see everybody along on NCTV 45's broadcast of high school football. There's 
Raquel, good to see you. It is second, call of 15, and um, back to pass, over the middle, and incomplete. 13 seconds left. Cage with a 7 0 lead. Ball is placed on the 34 yard line. Third down, if the Canes can pick up 10, they can try a possible field goal. Two to the far side, one near side, one back set, snap comes back, ball thrown over the middle and incomplete. And uh, eight seconds. The ball's going to be spotted. <laughs> the ball's going to be spotted on the forty one. Okay, and uh, this attempt will be 50 yards, and uh, just dies in the end zone, but great try, four seconds, Newcastle seven, West Mifflin nothing, and uh, the ball will be spotted at the 34 yard line. And we have four seconds on the clock. Kate will give the ball to the Titans in the second half to start. And uh, another spot in the ball after the win. First time to thought. One to each side, two back set, sweep, and uh, that's going to do it. At the end of the first half, it's Newcastle, seven, and West Mifflin, nothing. Now, um, we're going to... Uh, show you the bands and you'll, you'll see on the delay that they have the raincoats on and uh, so feel free to watch and uh, I'm going to take this time take a break and I'll be right back with you.
Facebook, I gotta go.
If you're having a party, then Keystone Specialty is a place you need to go. Yes, they have every party supply that you can imagine. Planning that wedding, that graduation, or maybe it's just that big game that's coming up. Go to Keystone Specialty. Party supplies and so much more. Remember, they have those ball decorations. Winter, spring, and summer. It's Keystone Specialty on the south side of Newcastle, Mill Street. If you want to score big, then get over to Shenango Auto Mall. George Fiaco, General Sales Manager, and his experienced staff will be glad to talk to you about all the amazing used car deals from their huge inventory. Lifetime powertrain warranties, extended warranties, guaranteed credit approval. They have a body shop and full detail shop. It's not your mobile used car loan. They also buy cars, trucks, and SUVs. Shenango Auto Mall is located at 2515 Elwood Road in Shenango Township. Call 724-698-7300. Pope Ferry Exchange at 41 North Mercer Street has gifts galore that'll make you want to explore. Lamps, homemade lamps of every shape and color that will excite any room in your house. Wind chimes hang from the door to give that sweet sound. Sweet soaps and teas, embroidered towels, and much more. It's the Punk Berry Exchange. It's yours to explore. Take a step back in time at Lombardo's Apothecary at 1230 South Mill Street. We'll take you back in time. Take you back in time to make you feel better. They have hard snacks, all kind of toiletries, and health and beauty aids that will make you feel better. They also have prescriptions too. It's Lombardo's Apothecary. Call 724-654-8100. Special thanks to Little Johnny's 2 downtown who provided funding for this program. Pepper. Mouth-watering fruit. Fine dressings, apple meats. This place looks so familiar. Everyone in Newcastle has it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up. Right down to Newcastle. Look at those colors and that. Yes, it's Joseph's. Go and Sons Sales and Service. 47 East Washington Street, Newcastle, has lawnmowers of every type. Zero turn country clippers, made in the USA, 42 inch to 54 inch cut. Batteries by Oregon. They'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim and Go and Sons, 724 652 6911. Losing a loved one is difficult, and the grief it puts on your family can be troublesome. Ed and Don DiCarlo Funeral Home and Cremation Incorporated strive to make the hardest time for you and your family a comfortable one. They can accommodate for large gatherings to smaller private viewings and memorial services. They've been serving the area for over 50 years. Ed and Don DiCarlo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated. 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle, and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshannock Township. Website, decarbofuneralhome.com, or call 724-658-4711. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle, on Kennedy Square. Today's program, furnished by Grant from Chihuahua and Colony Forest on Mill Street in Newcastle. Chuck Tanner would be proud of the restaurant that bears his name. Chuck Tanner's Restaurant, owned and operated by the Papazikas family, would love for you to be part of a Newcastle tradition. Come enjoy the great breakfast, super lunch, and second-to-none dinner choices from their Italian, Mediterranean, and American cuisine. You can relax with a wonderful atmosphere and something from the bar. If you're planning an event, ask about their banquet facility. Tanner's Restaurant is located at 2305 Wilmington Road in Neshannock Township. Call 724-658-5900. Yeah. 
These farming businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, common entry, and on target. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2580. This program furnished by the Magnum Mobile Auto Detail. See Michael Sack at the badunit.com. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lord's County community and providing funding for this program. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, special thanks and American to Butts, Flowers, Gifts, and more in downtown Newcastle for their support. Today's program furnished by funding from the Old Big Shop, where smiles are paid. Hi friends, I'm Gary West. And then you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store. Well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza was always your first choice for any and all occasions. Since 1947, 39 North Mercer Street has watches, giftware, and much more. And wait, now featuring John Wynn Jewelry, 50% off. Mary on the Jewelry, Rose Wynn Rings, diamonds, pendants of every shape, color, and size. Control Jewelry. Angelique Bracelets. It's Germanies. When you call the William and Roger de Cargo funeral, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen as your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger de Cargo funeral. Hello friends and it's awesome. He goes, let me tell you what, great food, whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice friendly atmosphere, stop by, tell them NCTV 45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program.
folks. Now, uh, let's take a check of what's going on. And, uh, hopefully you can hear me on, uh, the Facebook channel, too. We're just told that the rain is moving into downtown Pittsburgh at this time. We have tape delayed the game and we're doing it live on Facebook as uh, we've lost some kind of contact with one of our cell phone towers. So we always get around that type of seconds. I want to thank everybody for sharing and watching. Hello to Billy Cook and Rich Heibel. Nadine, I thank you for that message. Um, what I'm going to do is bring it back here and kind of flip the camera around. Get, uh, <laughs> to say that the weather here has been, uh, it, it's been an interesting evening. Uh, things have just been a little inclement up and down the uh, valley here. And uh, as we are south and east of Pittsburgh, we have heard that the rain was in Center Township, then in downtown Pittsburgh. We were unable to get a strong enough signal to send the game out live on YouTube, but we were able to transmit it on Facebook. Now, there's, we're set to begin here in about 2 minutes, 21 seconds. For those of you that have missed the first half, Canes have done an, an excellent job moving the football defensively still not real happy with it, with it offensively as we got to the end of the quarter we were dropping the ball quite a bit and uh, West Mifflin did also now West Mifflin will get the ball in the second half as uh, I look out the wind is starting to pick up again, and uh, this is going to be an interesting, interesting second half. Uh, thanks for joining Stace, um, but NCTV 45, the saying I guess in some parts is, you can't stop a train. Well, we're moving through some pretty interesting yeah. weather. There's been some tornado warnings, just to let you know, up in northwest Pennsylvania, Venango, Clarion County. So uh, stay tuned. We'll try to uh, get out any weather information to you that's happening and bring you the game. And uh, I filed the swap for the camera so that it's not bouncing all around. I apologize. Uh, some of it was the wind. Uh, the wind has been tremendous down here. And, uh, we're going to get back to the second half. Hello, Amy. Good to see you on NCTV 45. Let's get back and watch second half action. So, uh, give me a thumbs up if you can hear uh, from somebody, anybody, Nadine, anybody involved, because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to cover it with two microphones at the same time. And, um, well, Also, 
West Midland will, will receive to start the second half, and uh, ball hits at the 12-yard line, and uh, out of bounds as runner advances. Let's see where they spot it. Okay. I just uh, and let's see if that's better. Ball being marched back right now as there was a penalty flag and penalty be squatted at the 15 yard line. First and ten for West Fifth. Kane's lead seven nothing. You watch an NC five. And uh, let's see what we have. Sweet and uh, Nothing doing for West Mifflin. Angela, how you doing? Welcome to NCTV 45. Hope you're enjoying the game. Give me a heads up, a thumbs up, maybe Angela, anybody. I want to know if it's the, the volume is better. Now, uh, breaking the huddle, sending one to the far side, one to the near side, a two back set, high formation. Motion comes towards us, and they give it to the first back through. He picks up about five yards. 11 minutes on the clock, Kane's up, 7-0. And uh, there was uh, a fumble, and that's going to be Newcastle ball. And uh, we'll take that. 10 50 on the clock, Kane's lead 7 0. And uh, Dave Dominic, glad to have you along. Nadine, give me a text back, let me know if it's better. Canes come out, ball on the 20, 10 50, 7 0 lead. Canes punch it in here. Things could uh, look good for the Canes to get that win. One to the far side, wing near side, second back through. There he is, up to the three goes George Thompson. Thompson. And uh, pick up of five, second and five for the Canes. Gary, good to have you along. Canes break the huddle. 10-24 on a moving clock. Two back set, one to the near side. And inside handoff and up across the 10 and down to the 7 yard line. They're going to mark it on the 8. And uh, Kane's on the march. There's a flag, however. And judge him from where that is. Holding on the cage. They'll back it up to the 23 yard line. Third and 15. Third and check that 23. 13. Third and 13 as they have it on the clock wrong. Straight ahead and picking up the yardage and no whistle as he was up to the yard marker. He picked up four 
And now, where are they going to spot that ball? The ball is going to get spotted on the 25, which is a loss of two, making it third and 15. 9.29 on the clock, wind blowing, and uh, out here at West Mifflin, and uh, a nice facility, not the kind you want to be in if it really starts to rain. Two to the near side, wind far side, flags fly, and whistles blow. The illegal procedure against the Canes, and that's going to be backed up. Now, uh, folks, that is the wind shaking the camera. That is not me. Uh, 8.53 on the clock. Ball on the 30. Kings must get to the 10. It's third and 20. Two to the far side. One to the near side. Motion comes across and back to pass. Under a lot of pressure and back to the line of scrimmage. And uh, they call a fumble and this is coming up with the ball. We talked about that hanging on to the ball. Very, very critical. And the ball's been on the carpet a lot tonight. Good to see you, Jenny. That's the wind blowing, not me shaking the camera. It's a stiff wind down here, first and ten for the Titans, and they try jet sweep. Now that gets a yard gain, and uh, ball pops out, but they're going to move it down. They're going to say that's a pickup on three. Making it second, call it seven. Two to the far side, one to the near side for the Titans. Kane's in there, four man front, three linebackers. They walk up the fourth row. Jet sweep to the other side. Locked up on the, the end, and there are people running. Because here comes the rain. And I do mean here comes the rain. As um, it is really on its way down here. And uh, Holding, and that's going to be on West Mifflin, backing the ball up inside the West Mifflin 20. It's 7.30 on the clock, Kings lead 7-0, and uh, that one gust came through and a lot of water. A lot of water came down. Janet, good to see you. Hand off inside. Kane's tie him up at the 15. That's going to be a loss of two. At least. Third. Ball rest on the 17. Third and 22 is what they're calling it. 6.54. Wind is blowing from right to left. The Titans are driving into the wind. Carmen, good to see you. And you're watching NCTV 45 High School Football. It's a pretty inclement weather. 
You've got two to the near side, one to the far side. Motion comes across and uh, stopped at the 17 with 6.18 on the clock. And that'll bring fourth down at the six minute mark. Canes lead 7 nothing. And uh, it will be time to punt. As, uh, the, the, the wind has whipped up a, a hurricane of sorts right now. And uh, as I look at a few umbrellas in the stadium, that kick just died. And uh, we, we closed the window a bit to uh, lock some of the water coming in from our onto our equipment. And it's been amazing. As I look right outside our window and uh, just totally amazing as I see the umbrellas getting turned every which way but loose. Canes come out and this will be run time because you cannot throw the ball in this weather. One to the near side. We go on the far side in the two back set and Ball goes down and uh, able to pick it up and uh, down the sidelines and he's into the end zone and that's a score and uh, for Newcastle and the Hurricanes, the Hurricane in the Hurricane score and make it 13 and uh, what turned out to be a broken play as they'll line up the kick and the wind is definitely at the back of Mr. Carter. Kick up and through. No problem with that one. And uh, kick foot, 517. Canes leading 14 nothing. And uh, driving type storm right here, right now. Uh, and uh, if you can see what's going on as uh, I will try to uh, keep you okay we're going to uh, call the game Second and five and picks up the first down. And uh, we're going to give the end of the uh, both ways. As uh, we've lost uh, our uh, feed down here, but uh, glad to see you. Make sure everybody knows it's. We're running with the Facebook. It's first and ten. The ball is on the 15-yard line. Westminster from second back through and stopped at the line of scrimmage. And uh, we'll make sure that uh, we keep you. Uh, and, and get some kind of camera coverage out there. It's raining in Center Township. Thanks, Sam. It's it's gotten pretty cloudy down here. I formation to the far side. Flags fly. 
against the Titans. There's 17 seconds on the clock. And uh, with that, we're going to go to the second quarter with the Hurricanes with the lead seven. Right. Now, Folks, bear with me as uh, I kind of multitask here. Uh, there was no way for us to know about the weather. And uh, I'm going to go into my bag of tricks to uh, get some. Uh, and uh, we're so hoping you don't mind as I move on this round. Very concerned.
second back through and stop. And folks, uh, you see that jumble like that. Shadow your old own goal post here is an understatement. As the Kings are really backed up. Canes, first and ten, inside 
far side, ball thrown, caught, and it's right at the first down marker. And that's going to be complete for a first down. 551 on the clock. And at halftime on the lead broadcast. Uh, We'll uh, catch the pants. Hello, Mary Ann and Ed. Two to the far side, one near side. And he rolls far side. Ball caught and picks up the first down. For those of you just joining us and wondering, what the heck is going on? Inclement weather in the area. And uh, it's caused a bit of a headache down here as uh, we lost part of our internet feed. Now we are going uh, and broadcasting on Facebook. And uh, one to the near side, motion comes to the near side. Second back through, trap on the right side. Canes have that diagnosed to a T. 512 on the clock. So what happened is we lost our face. I doubled up with our cell phone. And uh, we're on YouTube, but we are broadcasting on Facebook. With all of our friends who watch it, I thank you for that. As uh, I'm working just about all the machines I could work. How come? How comes the the Titans motion away? I formation. Fake to the second back through. Ball is incomplete. And that's going to bring up fourth down and three for West Fifth. And uh, this will be interesting. Thank you, Patty, for the kind words. This is your red hurricane. On defense, white shirts, black trousers. Fourth and three, motion away, second back through. Second effort gets close to the first down. He's gonna, he's gonna have it. Going to have the first down as he crossed the 15. Just got across the 15. He got hit at the 16 yard line and was able to spin away and cross. Now there's going to be. They, they marked it short. They marked it short. I believe he had to get to the 15 yard line and uh, and it, and look as I talk here to people down the way they thought he made it also Kings take over first to 10 ball on the 15 4 12 and the Kings with the 7 zip lead second back through goes straight ahead and picks up 5 Second and five. All the tricks of the trade coming out right now as uh, and you're going to have to call me because I got to tell you what I did. <laughs> 
two back set and quarterback keeps gets up to the 26. That's going to be a first down. And uh, 323, King Lee to 7, 0 Lee. We are three minutes away from halftime. And no rain yet. Three minutes left. But it's all around us as that's what we're hearing. Thanks for watching, Joe. Two backs in the backfield, quarterback. Pitches. And uh, pitches on the option crosses the 50. And uh, as they cross the 50, move. First down. Ball marked on 48. 248. And a moving clock. Glad to have you along, Tracy. You're watching Red Air Game Football on NCTV 45. Two back set. Second back through gets to the line of scrimmage. Nothing much doing there. It is second. Second down with two minutes left in the first half. Two minutes in the first half. And uh, we've got two to the near side, one far side, back to pass. Ball goes over the middle. And there's a flag on the There is a flag. And, and I'm looking as to where the flag is positioned. And uh, they might It's the illegal procedure. Illegal procedure against Newcastle. You know, they got tangled up just a bit downfield and I wasn't sure what they were going to do as far as making that call, not making that call. Just a reminder, we'd like to take Joe, good to have, have you along. It's like the new cheerleaders. And you and the ball players. And the ball players. And the ball players. And uh, here come the Canes as they break the huddle. Now we've got one to the near side, two to the far side, the motion comes across. And flag on the play, even though the ball, that's going to come back, but it's all good motion. I, I, I just know that's where we go. Five seconds as the clock continues to run. Hope you can hear me at home as well as 
on our takeaway. Two on each side. And ball kept up inside the third. Got a bubble stop as they need the chance. So folks, seven nothing Kings and all the guys grab the big word. Chargers down, can't now. Sink was sound, sound allegheny. Thomas Jefferson, Upper St. Clair, West Allegheny, Western Beaver. College and Robert Moore, hosted by the West Midland Titan Thunder, Fan Festival, tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. Yards. And uh, just dies. 
leaving the school. Uh, Three tries, four seconds. Newcastle, Sunny, West Memphis. Nothing. Ball will be spotted at the 34 yard line. And we have four seconds on the clock. Kings will give the ball to the Titans. Second half to start. And uh, another Spartan ball after the one. First down 10 Titans at the 20 yard line. One to each side. Two back set. Sweet. And uh, that's going to do it. At the end of the first half, the the first first half Newcastle. it's Newcastle 7. And West Midland nothing. Now, uh, we're going to uh, show you the band. You'll see on the play that they have the raincoats on. Yes, and uh, so feel free to watch. And um, I'm going to take this time to take a break. And I'll be right back in the
the band is being led onto the field by drum majors Mary Slovakiak, Tyler Schuster, and Lydia Benjamin. Scholar Captain Mara Palacia and Co-Captain Amy Adams. Still Captain Lexi Mullen and Co-Captain Kathy Evans. <laughs>
Okay, don't forget, tomorrow night, Alderdice, Redwood, Chuck Pierce, Rally, Canadax, St. Louis South, South Allegheny, TJ, Upper St. Clair, West Allegheny, West Beaver, Robert Lawrence, and the host, the Titan Thunder. I want to thank everybody for sharing and watching. Hello to Billy Cook and Rich Heichel. And now the winning number on the 50-50 for the best message. What I'm going to do is bring it back here and kind of flip the camera around. Get, uh, <laughs> To say that the weather here has been, uh, and it, it's been an interesting evening. Uh, things have just been uh, a little inclement up and down the uh, valley here. And uh, as we are south and east of Pittsburgh, we have heard that the rain was in Center Township, then in downtown Pittsburgh. We were unable to get a strong enough signal to send the game out live on YouTube, but we were able to transmit it on Facebook. Now, there's, we're set to begin here in about two minutes, 21 seconds. For those of you that have missed the first half, Canes have done a, uh, an excellent job moving the football. Defensively, still not real happy with it with it offensively as we got to the end of the quarter we were dropping the ball quite a bit and uh, West Mifflin did also now West Mifflin will get the ball in the second half as uh, I look out the wind is starting to pick up again and um, this is going to be an interesting, interesting second half. Uh, thanks for joining Stace. Um, but NCTV 45, the saying I guess in some parts is, you can't stop a train. Well, we're moving through some pretty interesting weather. There's been some tornado warnings just to let you know up in northwest Pennsylvania, Venango, Clarion County. So uh, stay tuned. We'll try to uh, get out any weather information to you that's happening and bring you the game. And uh, I found a spot for the camera so that it's not bouncing all around. I apologize. Uh, some of it was the wind. Uh, wind has been tremendous down here and uh, we're going to get back to the second half hello amy good to see you on nctv 45. let's get back and watch second half action Let's 
see where they spotted. Okay. I just uh let's see if that's back. Ball being marched back right now as there was a flag it would be spotted at the 15 yard line. First and 10 for West Midland. Cage lead 7 9. You're watching NC 35. And uh, let's see what we have. Sweet. And uh, nothing doing for West Mifflin. Angela, how you doing? Welcome to NC 45. Hope you're enjoying the game. Give me a heads up, a thumbs up. Maybe Angela, anybody? Want to know if it's the, the volume is better? Now, uh, breaking the huddle, sending one to the far side, one to the near side, two back set, high formation. Motion comes towards us. And they give it to the first back group. He picks up about five yards. 11 minutes on the clock. Kane's up seven. And uh, there was uh, a fumble. And that's going to be Newcastle ball. And uh, we'll take that. Like a Ten feet on the clock. Kane's lead seven nothing. And uh, Dave Dominic, glad to have you along. Maybe give me a text back. Let me know if it's better. Kane's come out. Ball on the twenty. Ten fifty. Seven nothing lead. Kane's punch it in here. Things could uh, look good for the Queens to get that win. One to the far side, we near side, second back through. There he is, up to the three goes Charlie. Thompson, and uh, pick up of five, second and five, and three Canes. Gary, good to have you along. Canes break the huddle. 10-24 on a moving clock. Two back set, one to the near side. And inside handoff and up across the 10 and down to the 7 yard line. They're going to work it on the And uh, Kings on the march. There's a flag, however. And judging from where that is, holding on the gate. No back it up. Yard line. Third and 15. Third and check that 23. 13. Third and 13 as they have it on the clock ball. Straight ahead and picking up the yardage. No whistle as he was up to yard line. Picked up four. And now, where are they going to spot that ball? The ball is going to be spotted on the 25, which is a loss of two, making it third and 15. 929 on the clock, wind blowing, and uh, 
out here in West Newfoundland.
And that'll bring fourth down at the six minute mark. Games lead seven nothing. And uh, it will be time to punt. The wind has whipped up a, a hurricane of sorts right now. And uh, as I look at Wellesley well State, that kick just died. As I look right outside our window and uh, just totally amazing as I see the umbrellas getting turned every which way to loose. Paints come out and this will be run time because you cannot put the ball in this way. One to the near side, wing on the far side and the two back set and the ball goes down and uh, Pick it up and uh, down the sidelines and that's a score and uh, for Newcastle and the Hurricanes, the Hurricanes and the Hurricanes score and get 13. And uh, what turned out to be a broken play has no line up to kick and the wind is definitely at the back of Mr. Carpenter. Kick up and through. No problem with that one. And uh, kicks good, 5-17. Kane's leading 14-0. And uh, driving type score. Try to uh, keep as clear as possible. As we have experienced. on the clock. Both teams head to the locker room as uh, the rain just unbelievable. And uh, what we've dealt with this evening has been spectacular. As uh,
Yeah. We could only be able to tell you. And uh, it's just been unbelievable. We're, uh, we're going to uh, see what they talk about as far as the game. See as they come up. Linda Razai, you are watching and you're on right now. Um, just unbelievable as the weather just took a turn. I, I even had part of this closed off. And man, it just unleashed from absolutely nowhere and uh, as uh, we try and get cleaned up here uh, I'm going to try and take a look at 